Hey guys, Patrick R with TFP TV, and I'm here with Clint Hansen with uh, Ballistic Advantage. And uh, it's a pretty awesome spread here. You've got a pretty cool looking gun sitting here. But I heard you guys are most well known for a barrel that's named after you. Yeah, we actually uh, we came out with the BA Hansen some, uh, some years ago. It's kind of our flagship barrel. It sets us apart a little bit more. And uh, basically what it is is a barrel without any right angles. Okay. Uh, the idea behind the Hanson barrel is to add barrel, better, uh, better barrel harmonics, give you better accuracy and overall performance, and provide a little bit more rigidity without having all the weight. Now, uh, I mean, naturally, you want to be a little bit more accurate. You want that rigidity. You go with a thicker barrel, and uh, the Hanson is a, a nice little option to the cheaper right, something. Huh? Yeah, no, it looks fantastically uh, made, and I think this one is uh, That's a 16-inch. That uh, is a 16-inch mid-length, 5.56 yeah. NATO. All right, and also comes in 223. And a stainless package as cool. well. Uh, you'll find the Hanson series of, as well in uh, 300 Blackout, uh, 223, 556, uh, 308, and uh, that's about it. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Now, set that back over there. Yeah. And then uh, here you've got the, some new uppers that you guys are doing, and uh, I understand it's a QPQ coating on this? QPQ coating on that. Right. 4150. Okay. Cool, Come cool. cool. And twist. I hear that you guys still offer an MOA guarantee on even these barrels. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And these start at, uh, would, I want to say $140. Yep. Uh, yeah, more right around the four, uh, $140 range for one of these barrels with a, with a uh, sub MOA guarantee, or an MOA right. guarantee rather. That's right. uh, so it's an MOA guarantee, sorry about that. Uh, that's pretty awesome. You know, there's a lot of barrel manufacturers out there that, uh, you know, tout the most amazing things. I'm just gonna wreck the table. Um, you know, they tout their uh, their barrels as being uh, really solid, and not a whole lot of them get out there and say, "Hey, we will do one MOA." Correct. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Um, before we go ahead and uh, get to shooting some of these awesome uh, barrels, I want to talk about that thing right there. I understand it's a one-off build, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty ridiculous. It is. Yeah. Typically, we do an 18-inch, 20-inch, uh, and a 20, uh, 22-inch. We've got a 24-inch coming out uh, second quarter 2017. Okay. But uh, for Shot Show, we want to do something a little different. So this is a 14.1-inch carbine. So uh, <laughs> it's still super soft to shoot, super duper accurate. It's pretty boringly accurate, actually. With a big giant vortex scope on it. So it's a whole lot of fun. So tomorrow, a lot of people are going to enjoy this. Yeah, no, I think they're going to really enjoy this uh, oh, when yeah. everybody gets out here. Uh, and it's uh, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, Correct. which uh, it's, it's kind of like the long-range... Um, you know, cartridge du jour right now, and I think it's just super, super cool. Maybe hang a suppressor off the end of it oh, yeah. instead of a muzzle brake, and I think you got a winner, man. Oh, That's yeah. it's pretty Probably. awesome. Great optic. It's, it's an awesome overall build. Thank you. But uh, I can't think of a better way to go ahead and showcase uh, the handsome barrel, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, right on. So let's uh, let's get uh, some of these guns loaded up. All right, so we're gonna give the uh, 65 Creedmoor the 14 and a half inch barrel a shot. It's got a uh, suppressor hanging off the end of it, so it should be pretty darn quiet. So I uh, don't have the most stable position here, but they're all kind of landing right on top of each other. This barrel is ridiculously accurate. It's too much fun. All right, so uh, the guys at Ballistic Advantage wanted to be a little bit on the different side and went with an 11.3 barrel instead of 11.5. This one's got a uh, pencil profile, so it's a 6.25 gas block. Let's see how she shoots. Uh, You know what, it's like an SBR with a, a suppressor hanging on the end of it. Usually it's a little bit too much weight hanging out front, but uh, it's got a dead air sandman on this one and the pencil profile really keeps the weight down in the front. I think I could shoot that for a while. Like it's not tiring at all. That's awesome. So I was talking with Chad over at Aero Precision and uh, he said that they are very, very close with the guys over at Ballistic Advantage. And uh, Miles did a quick segment on 
the air position stuff, so you can check that right here. But uh, he did say that this uh, is a music advantage barrel, and uh, it's a pro sample, so that means it's full auto, and I am not going to say no to shooting it. <laughs> That's awesome. Check out both uh, Air Precision and uh, Ballistic Advantage because uh, they're willing to go ahead and subject to that kind of torture. Might not be a bad barrel.